हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज विद्याश्री मैथ्स फैकल्टी इन ताल पद्मावती इंटरनेशनल स्कूल टुडे लेट अस सी चैप्टर फाइव अंडरस्टैंडिंग एलिमेंट्री शेप्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स सो चिल्ड्रेन दिस चैप्टर इज अलॉटेड एज अ प्रोजेक्ट फॉर यू ऑल द शेप्स वी सी अराउंड अर्स आर फॉर्म यूजिंग कर्व्स और लाइन्स we can see corners edges planes open curves and closed curves in our surroundings yes we are going to organize them into line segments angles triangles polygons and circles so in this chapter children we are going to learn about angles triangles polygons and many more we know that China is to north of India Sri Lanka is to the south we also know that sun rises in the east and sets in the west so they are the four main directions they are north south east and west so by using them children we can know about the right angle and straight angle the turn from north to east is a right angle the turn from north to south is by two right angles that is called as a straight angle and what is a complete angle children yes turning by two straight angles in the same directions makes a full turn this one complete turn is called as one revolution so the angle for one revolution is a complete angle we can see such revolutions on clock faces suppose the hand of a clock starts at 12 and goes around until it reaches 12 again so it has a completed one revolution then we can say that it has a complete angle and next children what is an acute angle yes you already know an angle which is smaller than a right angle is called as an acute angle in the other words we can say that if the measure of an angle is above 0 degrees and below 90 degrees that is below right angle then such angles are called as acute angles then what is an obtuse angle children yes if an angle is greater than a right angle and uh, one more thing is it should be less than straight angle is called as an obtuse angle in the other words you can say that if the measure of an angle is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle so we have types of triangles children here the triangles are based on sides the first one is sclen triangle these are based on the sides that is sclen triangle isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle first triangle is sclen triangle a triangle having all the three unequal sides is called as a sclen triangle so children in the last figures if you see the last one that is a sclen triangle why it is called as sclen triangle why because all the three sides the length of the three sides will be different next isosceles triangle a triangle having two equal sides is called as an isosceles triangle if triangle has any two sides equal then such triangles are called as isosceles triangle and the last one is equilateral triangle a triangle having all the three sides equal is called an equilateral triangle so if all the sides of a triangle are equal then we can say that such triangle are is equilateral triangle next let us see the triangles based on angles so here also we are having three types of triangles based on angles they are acute angled triangle right angled triangle obtuse angled triangle so what is an acute angled triangle children yes you know already what is an acute angle so based on that only this acute angle triangle is there if each angle of a triangle is less than 90 degrees or you can say if each angle of a triangle are acute angles then such a triangle is called as 
acute angled triangle and the next one is right angled triangle if in a triangle if one of the angle is right angle then such a triangle is called as a right angled triangle if one angle of a triangle is right angle then we can say that they are that is right angled triangle and the next one is children obtuse angled triangle if any one of the angle in a triangle is obtuse angle then we can say that such triangle is obtuse angled triangle that means if one of the angle is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees then that triangle is said to be obtuse angled triangle next is what is a polygon children yes already we know what is a polygon a polygon is a simple closed figure with three or more line segments is called as a polygon so if the number of sides of a polygon is 3 then it is called as triangle if four quadrilateral five sides pentagon if a polygon is having six sides it is called as hexagon seven sides heptagon eight sides octagon nine sides nanagon 10 sides decagon here you can see some of the examples of the polygons like hexagon pentagon quadrilateral triangle heptagon octagon so some of the three dimensional shapes are cuboid cube sphere cylinder they are some of the three dimensional shapes now let us see the faces edges and vertices of a three dimensional shape now let us consider a 3d shape that is cube so each side of the cube is a flat surface called a flat face that is called as faces so how many faces a cube has a cube has yes six faces it has next two faces meet at a line segment called an edge so how many edges it has it has 12 edges very good three edges meet at a point called vertex when three line segments that is when three edges meet at a point that point is called as vertex so here children we are having eight vertices eight vertices so this is all about this chapter children and here your project is the first project is we are having types of an angles so children you can take the broomsticks or matchsticks or yeah wish you can think creatively and you can form the angles by using the sticks broomsticks or matchsticks and next is coming towards the triangles children we have triangles based on the sides and based on the angles so totally we are having six types of triangles so the same by using the broomsticks or matchsticks you can form different types of triangles and the last one is the project 3 project 1 is angles project 2 is triangles and project 3 is children you can take a cuboid cube a sphere a cylinder and cone so five shapes you can make using the color paper okay this is the project number 3 thank you tala padmavati international school